What's going on YouTube? Just not right here. So in today's video, we're going to talk about a possible upcoming chill break from the security researcher Adam Donenfield. And there is a lot of controversy on um, this topic and around his tweet that he made a couple days ago. And I'm going to show you exactly what's going on and we're going to talk about this so, um, so that we can clarify everything. Now, um, somebody has asked him, probably satirical, 88 GB, which means, you know, when he's releasing a jailbreak. And he replies in a quite interesting manner. He says, quote, well, I successfully used both triple fetch and Ziva together and the KPP bypass still works. So technically I could work on that. And well, this is the point where everything blew up and um, a lot of, you know, media picked it up, including the mode my eye as a, um, you know, possible upcoming jailbreak for iOS 10.3.x or 10.3.3 or 10.3.2. Although um, I think he's been talking more in here about the iOS 10.2.1 than uh, the 10.3.3 because, you know, the KPP bypass still works. So I think um, he means the KPP bypass from iOS 10.2, which also works on 10.2.1, but it doesn't work on 10.3.3. However, um, a lot of people said that it's upcoming, it's, you know, a jailbreak coming from Adam Donaldson and so on. And a lot of people, you know, probably misunderstood his tweet. So he followed it up um, a couple hours after that with this, in which he says, quote, I don't think you understand. I never said I am going to work on a jailbreak. I never said I wanted to do it now. I just said it's possible. So um, it's confirmed the fact that although he can work on it and although he confirms the fact that it's possible to use the currently available exploits like triple fetch and, uh, you know, Ziva, because Ziva is the um, exploit that he actually published back in August, is definitely not something that's going to happen too soon. Uh, he is definitely a known security researcher. He has the ability to probably create a jailbreak with no problem, but for the moment he does not want to have the responsibility of, you know, building one and dealing with the aftermath of creating a jailbreak. So it's definitely not an upcoming jailbreak. Yes, we can create a jailbreak with Siva and Triple Fetch and the KPP bypass. And it has been actually done with days. It's the Saigon jailbreak for iOS 10.2.1, which pretty much uses Triple Fetch plus Ziva and Extra Recipe, which are three publicly available exploits. Some of these are working on iOS 10.3.x as well. And um, if you take a look in here, they're talking about triple fetch and extra recipe. These are not only working on iOS 10.2.1. In fact, these are working on iOS 10.3.x as well, um, including Ziva. Ziva works on um, iOS 10.3.1 and lower. So an iOS 10.3.1 at least jailbreak would be possible. But the problem here is the KPP bypass, which only works on iOS 10.2.1 and lower. So um, that's probably the reason the um, the Saigon jailbreak is not compatible with iOS 10.3.x for the moment. But if you remember, I made a video in which I talked about um, a KPP-less branch from uh, Xero, which pretty much completely defeats the KPP by not touching it, by, you know, working around it. That might give some hope for future KPP-less jailbreaks. So definitely interesting. But no, in order to clear everything up, Adam Donenfield, although he said that he successfully managed to, you know, bind together uh, both Triple Fetch and Ziva and the KPP bypass into, you know, something that technically works, and he can technically work on that, he's not going to do it currently and he doesn't want to to do it currently. We might expect a jailbreak from Adam Donenfield in the future, he is a known security researcher, but do not put your hopes into that. For the moment he is more focused on security research than releasing public jailbreaks and having the experience of other security researchers who released jailbreaks and then uh, they've been, you know, uh, spammed by the community with when you release the next jailbreak and stuff like that, he probably would like to avoid that as well. So it's definitely understandable. Now the best way to ensure Adam Donenfield would try at some point to create a jailbreak is to not buffer him with such questions. If you go ahead and spam him on Twitter with when you're going to release that jailbreak or when you're releasing that thing or exploit X or Y or stuff like that, that's probably going to drive him away because, you know, nobody wants to be buffered with such questions and to be spammed consistently with such, um, such irritating questions. So 
avoid asking questions about jailbreaks, especially when ATA jailbreak. If you, if you want to ask about an exploit or something that he has released, that's perfectly fine. But do not make the same mistake the community makes quite often to simply spam this human being with when you're releasing iOS 10.3.3 jailbreak or bro, I need iOS 10.3.3 jailbreak. He doesn't care that you need a jailbreak and he will make one once he's able to and once he has time to. So if you spam his Twitter all over the place every day, that's not going to make him release a jailbreak. That's, that's only going to drive him away. So you should probably keep that in mind just as a, a reminder. Anyways, yes, although it made uh, you know headline news both on Mode My Eye and on other websites, it's less likely to happen currently. Um, you know, it's not going to happen for the moment. There, there will not be any jailbreak in the near future coming from Adam Donnellfield. But we do have the confirmation that Triple Fetch and Ziva that are both publicly available exploits currently can be used with the KPP bypass to create something that actually works, which is quite encouraging. So yeah, that's pretty much it guys. That's it cleared up. You can follow Adam Donenfield if you want. He's a security uh, researcher. He released the Ziva exploit and he posts quite interesting things. But again, do not, I cannot stress this enough. Do not stress this guy with questions related to Jill because I'm pretty sure he doesn't want to have such questions spamming his Twitter timeline. So that's pretty much it guys. Thanks for watching. I will keep you updated if anything happens uh, and if anything gets released from this guy in here. So do not forget to subscribe to stay updated. I'm Gia Snow. Peace out.